Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to morph glass in After Effects. All right, I'm going to go to composition, click here, new composition, I'm going to rename it as background. 1080p, 30 frames per second. I'm going to go with 8 second. Click OK. Okay, first thing I'm going to create some shapes on it that's going to float around, you know, so we got some background going on. So click right here, right click, go to new, click on solid. I'm going to type in sphere. Click OK. And I'm going to go here to the effects and presets, type in sphere again. Just drag it on. I'm also going to type in here fill drag it on so now as you can see we got a red dot here because the fill is under the cc sphere so i'm going to drag the fill above the cc sphere now i can change the color how i want i'm going to go with the red and we got the lights we got the shadings i'm going to go to lights so we got the light direction i'm going to go somewhere around here we also got the light height right here I'm gonna go something like this. And also I'm gonna need to scale this up because right now it's a little bit small and I'm gonna go here to the radius, increase the radius, something like that. And you also can position, you know, how wherever you want. I'm gonna go to the sphere, press Control D, so now it duplicated. Um, I also gonna rename this as green, first one red. Click on the green, I'm gonna change the color. And I'm gonna go with the green. There you go, press Ctrl D. I'm gonna right click yellow. Okay, so I'm kind of satisfied with the composition. So I'm gonna select all of these, press P. We're gonna position, make sure that this is right at the start. I'm gonna click on the time watch. I'm gonna bring them to the fourth second. I'm gonna move. You know this one so you're basically gonna go down and i'm gonna go here i'm gonna move them up i'm gonna select all the diamonds right click on the diamond keyframe assist click on easy ease so they are really random at the moment because they are floating together so what we're gonna do is change here these diamonds up like that and now check this out they are floating on their own Okay, now go back here to the project, click on the project. Now we're gonna click on this. We're gonna create a new composition. We're gonna name it as glass. Click OK. And we're gonna drag in the background right here. And we're gonna create a rectangle. Select the rectangle tool. And before you take action, make sure that you're not on the background. So click here somewhere. So if you click on the background and create a rectangle like this, it's going to mask it. So it's important to click somewhere here, deactivate the background and create the rectangle like that. As you can see, the center anchor point is not on the center. So I'm going to press and hold control and double click on the pen behind. And this is going to arrange it perfectly into the center. Now I'm going to arrange this, go to the align and arrange it to the center. I'm going to go here to the settings, to the rectangle, and we got the rectangle path, size, position, roundedness. So I'm going to increase it and it's going to make it rounded. I'm going to collapse this. Okay, I'm going to rename this card and I'm going to duplicate two times. Control D, Control D. I'm going to rename this as gradient and the first one stroke. We're going to go to the card layer. I'm going to uncheck these so they won't be visible. And here at the card, I'm going to check, you know, this little box here. So now it's going to be invisible. I'm going to type into the effects and presets blur. And down here, you can see the fast box blur. Drag it onto the card layer. We're going to go to the fast box blur and we get the blur radius, increase it. I'm going to go something like this. I'm also going to add some nice noise effect. So I'm going to type in noise. Here we got the noise, drag it in. And I'm going to type in, I think, six. There you go. Hit play and now as you can see it's working. Okay, I'm going to activate the gradient rectangle now. And I'm going to click on the fill, select the linear gradient. Click OK. And as you can see this here, I'm going to drag this one here and drag it down in this zone and this one on the upper corner on the right. I'm going to go down to the gradient options. Go to content. Rectangle one, we got here the gradient fill. We got the opacity, you can decrease the opacity a little, you know, to 
So this was on zero, look. And this adds more reflection. And I also can move this a little bit up. I'm gonna collapse this and check the stroke now. So now we're gonna work on the, with the stroke, click on the stroke layer, click on the field, click on the none, click OK, click on the stroke, go to the linear gradient, select it, click OK. And I'm gonna check what is going on here. So the main idea is, you know, to work with these. So both need to be on the white. But this white, you know, is 100%. But if I click here, the opacity, I'm going to need to be on somewhere around 50%. Click OK. OK, so I'm going to go back to the stroke. I'm going to need to change this opacity too. So I'm going to actually decrease it, this one, to somewhere around 50, 60. And this one, I'm going to decrease from 58 to, I don't know, 20. Click OK. Let's see what happens. You know, if you also want to decrease the stroke thickness, you can do it here. I'm going to go with five. I'm going to go click on the stroke, content, rectangle, gradient stroke. And we got the blend mode. I'm going to go select overlay. I'm going to select the stroke again because this area is too wide, too strong. And I'm going to go click on the stroke here. Click OK. And it's going to show again this point. And I'm going to drag it here. Let's see what happens. Now I get more lighter. So it's going to look something like this. And from here, I'm going to add the text. So I'm going to go here to the text tool, click, I'm going to type in Panther. Okay, select the selection tool, select the layer, press the letter S and scale it down. Press and hold control, double click on the pad behind. So it's going to arrange the anchor point to the center and arrange this to the center, scale it down. By the way, the font is called Mango Grotesque. We're going to type into the effects and presets, drop shadow. I'm going to drag in on the panther. I'm going to increase the softness. So there's like the distance is five. We can decrease the opacity, the opacity a little bit more down. And I'm going to, you know, select the drop shadow here and press control D. So this way it's going to duplicate it. And with the bottom, I'm going to change this to white, to white color. And I'm going to increase the opacity a lot. So around 80. And I'm going to increase the softness a lot. And I am also planning to add some noise. Drag it onto the panther. I'm going to add like 4% noise. And I also going to uncheck use color noise. And this is some of the ways you can morph glass in After Effects. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.